The BRICS nations collectively account for a substantial portion of the world's land area, population, and economic output. While their economies vary significantly in size, they share common characteristics such as rapid industrialization, substantial demographic dividends, and a desire for greater global influence. BRICS can be seen as a counterbalance to the dominance of Western economies and institutions, advocating for a more equitable and multipolar world order. BRICS represents an attempt to shift away from the unipolar world order dominated by Western powers. As these economies continue to grow, they will exert increasing influence over global economic and political decisions, contributing to a more multipolar global governance structure. This week in South Africa at the 15th BRICS Summit it was announced that BRICS will be expanding, and this is a very significant power shift as it sees the OPEC nations joining BRICS. On the 24th of August, 2023 President of South Africa issued this statement. We have decided to invite the Argentine Republic, the Arab Republic of Egypt, the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates to become full members of BRICS, the membership will take effect from the 1st of January 2024. With these new members, it means that now BRICS dominates oil production and GDP, with six of the top eight oil producers and a combined GDP of $28 trillion, surpassing the G7 $24 trillion. This is the end of the petrodollar, as all these countries have agreed to start trading with their own currencies going forward. Here is an expert on how the BRICS currency will work and how it's going to benefit the emerging world. Just for clarification, this is not going to be uh, like an actual currency, like the euro, for example. It's not going to be creating a single currency block like the eurozone. This, the, this isn't going to be the type of money that you would carry around in your wallet and go shopping. This is just going to be a trading mechanism that will sort of replace the dollar for cross-border trade between BRICS members. Setting up this type of mechanism, uh, the idea of it is it, it will release countries from their dependence on U.S. dollars. Now, as I've talked about before, this is a good thing on its own, uh, but it's not something that can actually be taken on its own. Uh, it's a step in a process of what I think is trying to just recreate and reposition the Bretton Woods system for the global south. Now, if it's going to be a commodities-backed currency, which is what they're talking about, then that means that the amount of currency that a country can hold will be dependent on the amount of raw materials that it possesses. The, if they possess the commodities that back the currency, then they'll have more uh, access to the they'll have access to more of the currency. I think that Europe is the Western المملكة العربية السعودية في الخمس سنوات القادمة سوف تكون مختلفة تماما البحرين سوف تكون مختلفة تماما الكويت حتى قطر على خلافنا معهم لديهم اقتصاد قوي سوف تكون مختلفة تماما بعد خمس سنوات الإمارات عمان لبنان الأردن مصر العراق والفرص التي لديها إذا نجحنا في الخمس سنوات القادمة سوف تلتحق فينا دول أكثر وسوف تكون النهضة القادمة في العالم في الثلاثين سنة القادمة في الشرق الأوسط إن شاء الله هذه حرب السعوديين هذه حربي اللي أخوضها شخصيا ولا أريد أن أفارق الحياة إلا وأرى الشرق الأوسط في مقدمة مصاف في العالم وأعتقد أن هذا الهدف سوف يتحقق مئة في المئة الله يعطيك طول العمر يا سيدي